Good morning, CFF. Uh, you guys are, you AM early risers are getting up in about, I don't know, an hour at this point. So uh, I'm running over Thursday, just a few things. Uh, if you jump onto the blog and you see the warm up on there, that's uh, from Coach Sean. He put that together. That's a MRAP 5, kicking off at about 50 or 60% uh, with hip circles, T spine rotation, shoulder taps, glute bridges, and so forth. Uh, you'll transition into a four minute AMRAP, kind of picking up the intensity a little bit with some lateral lunges, push ups to downward dog, air squats and burpees, step down, step up on the burpees, especially, I don't know, maybe your first few rounds and you can jump, get the heart rate going if you'd like. We are getting into handstand practice, five to seven minutes. And for that, think to practice static holds. Don't, don't turn that into handstand walking. Uh, you'll have plenty of touches on that in, in future weeks, but... For tomorrow, keep it as a static hold if that's on a wall at your house, if that's with your feet on a box in a pipe position working on the shoulder stability, you can do that as well. Uh, and for those who want to push it to static holds on the ground, or again, you could even modify that in upscale, holding on a box, holding on P-bars, depending on what you have. Um, for those who have some of their own equipment, you could use two dumbbells and practice leverage on that on the wrist. Um, Working our way into 21.59 dumbbell or kettlebell snatch and burpees over your implement. So if you're using a dumbbell, jump over that. If you're using a kettlebell, jump over that. Um, 50.35 is going to be the target for most folks. Again, if you have some of your own stuff and you want to upscale that, or if you're using a lighter dumbbell, and the goal is unbroken with that and fast. So the workout's intended to be a sprint, so kind of treat it accordingly. Um, working our way into the assistant stuff, three rounds. 10 change plates, squeezing the change plate, pressing out. Uh, future days will have videos and all this stuff so you guys aren't even having to wonder what some of the stuff is. Um, but I think most classes have done that. Uh, in 10 to 10 change plates, press throughs, one minute stretch, uh, just basically hands out over your head, pushing onto whether a box or a couch or a bench or anything you can find standing up on the wall, just letting the head kind of lean through, stretching out your chest. Uh, into, let's see, into a two-minute thoracic uh, stretch that can either be double across ball or the elbow to the elbow crook and ex extending out and twisting. Uh, two minutes there, you're going to rotate through that. I believe it was three rounds uh, for the assistance work. The no equipment um, modification there, you're still going to practice your handstand stuff. And then you're going to go into three rounds of a 100-foot walking lunge and 50 foot burpee broad jump. So three rounds, 100 foot walking lunge, 50 foot burpee broad jump. Again, similar on the assistance work. If you don't have a change plate, uh, use anything that you can squeeze into, even a notebook, anything you can grab, your laptop, your iPad, uh, anything, just pushing through and pressing out just like we do in class. And that's about it. That's gonna be Thursday. Uh, we will be going live at the gym at 9.30 where we'll be running through this uh, exactly as you guys are and as a class. Other than that, stay tuned to the uh, private Facebook group for the members as far as announcements for picking up equipment tomorrow, 6.30 to 8.30 and 3.30 to 5.30. Uh, and at that point, come the next few days, we'll have a lot more stuff we're putting out, which will um, just be structurally and organizationally much easier for you guys to follow along and more ways to kind of interact with the group. All right, any questions, just uh, post to the group tomorrow when we make the, the post for the day and the scores will go in there. Thanks.